But what we really like here is a little bit of personalization, a personal touch. What sort of environment do you think is there in the school in terms of safety and security? I don't know what, how it will, what will happen in the future or something like that. But Hi, welcome to Yellow Slate, your very own school search engine that helps you find the best schools for your kids based on various filters and parameters. Today, we have parents of kids studying in the New Horizon Gurukul School, which is near Cisco campus between Martali and Belandur. Uh, let's speak to them and understand their perspective about the school. So to begin with, uh, can we understand what is so impressive about the school that you made a decision to join your kids in the first place? Yeah, so uh, basically uh, to start off, uh, our daughter started studying there from nursery onwards. Okay. We didn't have much idea about how the school was, etc. But then we were uh, staying in Marthali, we asked a few of our colleagues um if there's a good cvc school around and they suggested uh uh new horizon Gurukul. okay that's how it started and now she will be uh appearing for her 10th board exam uh this year so she she has been there for 13 years now and overall i, I think we have had good experiences yes. so far uh so and even our daughter as well as her sister also studied here she graduated six years back so they have had uh, decent experiences and memories of the school so we just continued uh, to keep our words there got it and since your kid is now already in the higher standard how is the academic orientation of the school we can speak about the quality of teaching or teachers yeah yeah See, the thing uh, that we really like overall like you know it's a cbsc uh, uh, board school right so the curriculum is the same across the board okay and uh, but what we really like here is a uh, little bit of personalization a personal touch that uh, uh, the teachers give to the whole thing so we have been able to reach the parents we actually are uh, both of us are in very friendly terms with most of the teachers uh, uh, of our daughter okay so anytime we see some issue we we go ahead and talk to them talk to the teachers uh, the students, uh, at least the feedback that uh, we have received from our daughter, they are very comfortable actually going ahead and, and seeking out the teachers and asking them. So that uh, it, it's more, there, there is a less teacher student and more like parent uh, student kind of connect that's happening over there. That, that's what we have enjoyed. Okay. And again, we are saying uh, uh, for our daughter, uh, maybe it's very different experience from other people for other people i don't know but then uh, we have had that experience uh, since, since the school started experience. got it and uh, we certainly want the safest environment for all our kids to be in school so what sort of environment do you think is there in the school in terms of safety and security do you have any thoughts about it uh again this is uh, very very high on our agenda given that uh, we have two daughters right so uh, we we do try and ask them like uh, forget about the school like if you ask the school they will always say like we have the best in class safety and security systems in place mm -hmm. etc and then we do uh, check with our kids and uh, they have been very uh, see they, they feel comfortable like uh, specifically like if you are going for some extra classes, okay, how secure do you feel? Because all the students won't be there at that point in time, okay. Yeah, if you are going to the restroom, like, are you going alone? Or, or uh, uh, are you going with a few other students in there? Those, those kind of things, I think there's uh, some... Um, uh, the teachers or the management, I, I don't know who that is, they also encourage students to actually go to restrooms or any of the like the basement facility where they have the canteen etc they also encourage them to go in groups rather than alone okay and uh, usually what i have heard from our daughters is that there will be some uh, ammas uh, uh, who will be in those areas where it can potentially be a kind of a security uh, risk hazard okay so that way um, nothing that we have seen that's uh, concerning uh, so far but again, like you just need one uh, <laughs> person to, to yeah. uh, totally change the environment. So I, I, I don't know what, how it will, uh, what will happen in the future or something like that. But so far over the last 13 years or so, we haven't heard of any uh, occasion 
uh, as well as from our daughters also, they seem to have not felt insecure at any point in time. Got it. And uh, speaking about the infrastructure of the school, uh, because you are you're well aware of the campus now, for those parents who live within the campus, what sort of physical infrastructure do they have and uh, any specific thoughts on that? See, overall, uh, they have the uh, labs and all, uh, all the science labs, etc. All those things are there. They have uh, for sports, they have the gymnasium, badminton court, table tennis, etc. Basketball, football, etc. So, so those are, I would say, those are basic, basic amenities. The thing that we really like are uh, things like uh, they have set up the Atal tinkering lab. Okay, that I think was a great thing. They had uh, robotics labs for quite some time where. Students learn uh, to build different kinds of robots. Hydroponics. Yeah, they, they do have the hydroponics. hydroponics lab where kids actually go and grow uh, vegetables. So those are some of the things which are more like educational, but life skills as well, right? They, and those are the things that we really love about the school from an infrastructure perspective. Got it. And speaking only about the academic orientation, uh, what do you think of the teachers and quality of teaching in the school? They are very taking care of children, uh, not as a teacher. They are taking care of children as a mother, like as a, as a mother, they are taking care. Yeah, yeah. basically one, one example that we always have in mind is when uh, she started her school. In nursery. Uh, so. Nursery. <laughs> and one uh, first month she didn't cry, everyone else cried. The okay. next uh, whole year, rest of the year she cried and, and uh, the teacher, we still remember her name, Shobha Ma'am. Uh, and she, Ratna Ma'am. Sorry, I, I shouldn't be. <laughs> Taking names actually learned, uh, so we are ASMIS, okay, we speak uh, ASMIS at home, okay. They learned mm-hmm. ASMIS words, okay, they, they asked us to write what she speaks in ASMIS, translate that into English, and then the response in ASMIS, they learned ASMIS to talk to her and uh, to help her basically learn stuff, okay, so which was really great and that's the same thing, it's, it's nursery, but the uh, similar thing has carried all the way till now, right, like, uh, Again, probably not the same experience for all the students, but then uh, uh, many, many of the teachers, uh, it's almost like in school, there are kids who would say like, okay, she is almost, uh, she, uh, almost like an adopted daughter of so-and-so teacher kind of thing. Okay, and So that that is uh, the thing that we really like, obviously, like, uh, so which translates into like one-on-one uh, guidance and teaching. So they actually look at like, okay, this is the piece where uh, this person is kind of weak. So they uh, take, take some extra classes even from home. Sometimes they have uh, extra class or session only for our daughter. Okay, So they do it over video call or something like that so that she can get up to the mark of the rest of the class. So that, that like I mentioned right earlier, the personalization of the whole teaching thing, that's, that's really great. Um, at least as far as our experience is concerned, but from from our conversation, you just figured like we are we we are kind of friendly. Okay, so we, we <laughs> are uh, the relationship with many of the teachers at at uh, NAG is almost like uh, between me and and some of the teachers, and especially with with uh, her yeah. and and the teachers, it's more like yeah. friends. Like they need some kind of support, they will be telling her she needs something for. Our daughter, she will be telling them kind of thing. Okay, so there, there's a lot of personal life touch to teaching, which which we really admire. Got it. And generally, our teachers very accessible. Going by what you're speaking, it looks like they're very accessible. But are they really accessible? Uh, just wanted to know about. Yeah, it. like uh, today uh, daytime, I had like three different teachers. I uh, had some random calls about three different issues. Okay, so okay. they are, they are. Got it. And um, before we conclude, sir, on scale of 10 with 10 being the highest, how likely are you to recommend uh, the New Horizon Gurukul School to any of your kit and kin or peers? Nine? Yeah. Nine. Yeah. yeah. I would say nine. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for coming forward and sharing these thoughts. It uh, certainly will be of great help for other parents looking for good schools in the same locality. And awesome. on behalf of all those parents, thanks once again for your time, sir. Thank you.